this has caused a lot of panic in Kenya Kwanza. I did my video, my previous video, I talked of the journey towards 2027. And this journey has started this 2023. For anyone who wants to be the president of this country, he needs to start campaigning right now. There's no time you need to waste. If you want to be the president, this is the right time to start campaigning. But for other positions like MCA, MP, governor, women rep, just racks, do work for the people. For those who are not uh, in the government and they want to fight for presidents comes 2027, people like Raida Morodinga, Kalonzo Musyoka, Wajakoya, and anybody wants to be the president, this is the right time. Raira Morodinga had promised Kenyans that this year, Chanwal, he was to tell Kenyans the right way to follow. First of all, they met with former president Uhuru Kenyatta. Raira Morodinga again claimed that they have met with Kalonzo Musyoka, but there is no enough evidence supporting whether they have met. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dalmas. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly subscribe, put on the notification bell, and keep on enjoying the content of this channel. And for those who are here always, who are, who are my subscribers, who keeps coming and watch my videos, thank you very much for always supporting my channel. This fight is because of you guys, and we are heading somewhere. Raira Morodinga looks young and energetic this year, 2023. He celebrated his birthday in Mombasa, and there is a leakage that when he was in Mombasa, former President Uhuru Kenyatta was also in Mombasa, and they had a meeting of more than three hours. What they, what they were discussing, and that's what I want to put it here, according to my understanding. This meeting was so crucial, and it's meant to discuss on what steps they're going to take from this year, 2023, to 2027. And how are they going to check William Samuel Ruto's work? But the main agenda, as I think is there had been rumors that former president Uru Kenyatta is planning to leave as Mira Umoja. That is agenda number one they discussed. And Raida Morodinga gave an answer to Kenyans while he was in church. He said that they met with former president Uhuru Kenyatta and Uhuru Kenyatta is in Azimio Raumoja to stay. That is enough for Kenyans to understand that Uhuru Kenyatta is not going to leave uh, Azimio Raumoja as Kenya Kwanza leaders used to claim. Rigati Kasha was so happy when there were rumors that Uhuru Kenyatta will leave Azimio Raumoja and join them to work together. Why should they be happy? And this is the person who can bend against them. Why at this time they want to welcome an enemy to their party, someone who can make them perform poorly, as they used to say. They say that uh, Uhuru Kenyatta did nothing. And Kama Huyu wanasema alikuwa mpaya na mbona wanataka kumuleta kwa wale wanasema wao ni wazuri akuche kuwalipia. I think they should stop uh, being excited that Uru Kenyatta was to join uh, in Kenya Kwanza. Another thing, it's about 2027. We know very well that Raira Morodinga said that this was his last bullet. But it seems that, it seems like he has renewed that last bullet and he is going to use it in 2027. And that one alone is not making Kalonzo Musyoka happy. Kalonzo Musyoka is a disturbed man. 
for him not to come out publicly and say the plans that Azmira Moja has towards 2027, I think Raira Moro Dinga and Uhuru Kenyatta might have discussed this on how they're going to meet Kalonzo Msioka and calm him down. Not to go out and start the Kenyans that they are not together with Asmira Moja, top leader Raira Moro Dinga. Another thing, it's about maintaining the party, the coalition, that's Azimura Umoja. Of recently, we have seen so many people leaving Azimura Umoja, joining Kenya, Kwanzaa. But Raira Moro Dinga came out and made it clear to Kenyan that they are not leaving. He's the one sending them to work with the president. He needs them to perform so that they can be re-erected come 2027. For them to perform, they have to work with the president. So, Raira Morodinga said that he has permitted them to go and work with the president. What does this mean politically? Now, when we look at this scenario politically, William Samuel Ruto is likely to face a stiff competition comes 2027. Raira Morodinga started preparing and is not interested in what William Samuel Ruto is doing. They are watching with former President Uhuru Kenyatta. They want to see the legacy the president wants to make uh, compared to what former President Uhuru Kenyatta did. And that's the president is saying that he's going to make this country greater than what uh, he found it. That uh, now... If President William Samuel is going to perform better than uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, then people from Central, they will not have the choice of re-electing William Samuel. This is the time they are going to sit down and now those who are going to go to the side of uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and those who will still remain the side of William Samuel Ruto. But if William Samuel Ruto will not perform as he promised them, then a good number will go and support uh, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raira Morodinga. And that's how they are countering the faults in the central region. Sakaja also has been mentioned meeting with uh, Raira Morodinga. The meeting also has some hidden agenda. And that's what I'm going to discuss in my next video. In my next video, we'll talk of uh, the reasons why Raira Moro Dinga will come in to save Johnson Sakaja in Nairobi. Thank you for watching this video up to the end. Thank you again for taking your time to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and let's move together. Thank you.